Okay, so there's a couple topics to discuss today. This is one I need to do this more. Two, Half Life Two got an update today, and it's not. It's in a weird position. So a while back, uh, Valve News Network or Tyler Vic McVicker now is that it? I'm pretty sure that's it. Um, there'll be a link to his channel in the description. Um, made a a video talking about a Valve or a Half Life Two update coming out with new UI. Uh, a lot of things like that. Very simple, but it was for the future of like a controller support for the Steam Deck. And today, on on this day, on this day of recording, January twenty fifth. 2022, Valve released an update for Half-Life 2. Now, as, as you may you may not see on my screen or not, but I have Half-Life 2 running, and I want to show, I want to talk about uh, the Steam Deck and also how to add this update, and they're kind of in a conjunction. It's a, it's a multi-layered video. Uh, but Half-Life 2... Actually, so, okay, so let me let me just show you what Half-Life 2 did. So, there's a completely new UI, um, specifically for controller support, and I've already tried to see if it works with controllers, and it does not. Not yet. But this is designed specifically for Steam OS 3.0, Steam Deck, etc. But, like, the, a new achievement look... Which I'm actually mostly done with Half Life 2's achievements. Um, new UI or like new options. Um, there's uh, this is my save files or new game, and we get to see the different like chapter icons. And apparently, from what I heard, is that uh, Vance. I'm blanking on his name. It's been so long since I've played Half-Life 2. Uh, it looks how he does... Like, this I, uh, image here is from Half-Life 2 Episode 2. But we see so many different, like, thumbnails for each individual chapter. And it looks great. Um, I am going to miss the old UI. But... To access this... And I'm going to go ahead and close the game so it doesn't, it's not... Wasting any space. To access this, uh, you need to basically right click the game, properties, uh, go your basically your betas, enable beta updates so you can access the stuff. And then here, under general, you have to type uh, dash gamepad UI all underscore. And uh, thank you to. Uh, where did I I might have closed it. Hold on. It was. Game follow at Game Follower on Twitter. Um, here, I'm gonna bring it up. Thanks to this guy, he actually did um find out about this. Um, if anyone else did, uh, great for them. Uh, this is how I found it, but this is he's showing how you access it. But basically, that's how you access the new UI. If you wanted to try it out, you wanted to move over, you wanted to play with it, great. Um, but we need to talk about something else. Specifically, the Steam Deck. Um, I was making a post on Twitter. I was literally out waiting in the drive-thru to get dinner. And I thought about this. I was listening to the video from Tyler about um, the, the Half-Life 2 update. Because I, I had no idea. And it got me thinking about another few things I've listened to while working or doing other things around the house about how people got uh object not objects um updates or uh other what's the right word for it uh i'm blanking on like the name but basically add-ons 
But we'll go, we'll go to the index for this. Uh, so if you have if you buy any piece of the Valve Index set, you get Half Life Alex. And, you know, let me just bring this up for. This. You get Half Life Alex if you get the headset, which is great. I mean, it's it's Valve's premier VR game. It makes sense for them to include it with the headset. And there have been rumors for a little while about if Valve was going to uh, release a game with the Steam Deck. And for a while there, and for a while still, there actually are reports that Valve is working on a strategy FPS hybrid game called Citadel. Uh, specifically designed with the Steam Deck in mind. Now, I do not believe it is specifically exclusive for the Steam Deck. Um, but it can be played accessibly and easily with the Steam Deck. At least that's my understanding of it. We don't have an announcement for it, nothing set in stone. But what has my attention is through various reports, through a lot of things I've heard in the past, is that when people bought stuff like the Steam Controller, as it came out, uh, they obtained, like, they had like the entire Steam or Valve library added to their account. So let's say you bought a Steam controller and you didn't have a Steam account. And you, so you'd get like Half Life, Half Life 2, Episode 1, Episode 2, Portal, and Portal 2 as some major examples because those are Valve's premier games. And that's how accessibly it was to work. And it, apparently that it worked great. However, the Valve Index went on to do the same thing with uh, Half-Life Alex, Which is great. But, all, coming back to the Steam Deck for that, we don't have an idea if they're doing that. And I want to open up the, the, the comments for a discussion about this specifically. Are we going to be getting a pack-in deal. So say you pre-order the Steam Deck uh, or you're one of the first people to buy it. Let's, say, let's just say it's specifically for people who reserved before it released. You get the entire Valve library again. So we'll look here, we'll look at my Steam list like, Black, not Black Mesa. I added some things like Gary's Mod Black Mesa because they're still Valve IPs. But, or Valve assets anyway. But like Half Life, Half Life Two, Episode One, Episode Two, Blue Shift, Opposing Force, Left 4 Dead One, Left 4 Dead Two, Portal One, Portal Two, TF Two, games like that. And I want to know what all you think about if they're going to be bringing these games over to the Steam Deck, or more specifically, if they're going to be giving them away with the Steam Deck. If you're one of the first purchasers of the Steam Deck. Uh, I, it's certainly a good topic for discussion. Uh, so I'm going to leave the comments open for that. Comments open for that. I'm sorry, I mumble. <laughs> I'm really bad about that. And that's really horrible with content creation. But, you know, will they bring stuff like, you know, Half-Life 1, Half-Life 2, 1, 2, Opposing Force, Blue Shift... Left 4 Dead 1, Left 4 Dead 2, Portal, Portal 2, TF2. Will they bring this stuff to the Steam Deck? TF2 is more free to play, but the idea is there. Are they going to be bringing like a pack and deal or a package of, if you don't have these, you get them with the Steam Deck? Or, more specifically, could they do something like with the Steam Controller again, where uh, you get all Valve games currently available and all future ones? I have no proof if that happened with the Steam Controller. I even looked for information about this. I can't find any information about it. But it, it's certainly an interesting idea. So I'm curious what you'll have to say about that. Um, and as far as the Half-Life 2 update, how do you guys feel on it? How do you... Are you excited for the future of these Valve games? Um, something else I heard too is that they're also going to be updating stuff like Half-Life 1 to uh, Half-Life Source. 
Left 4 Dead 1, 2, Portal 1, Portal 2, and TF2 potentially with this new UI and with controller support. Now, I don't know why Half-Life 2, Portal, and TF2 don't, or in Portal 2, don't have controller support because they all did release on like the PS3 and the 360. Or at least... No, those ones actually did. Big through um, the orange box. I don't know. Topic for discussion. Um, thank you all for watching. Um, I'm going to check free content more regularly around here. And we'll see where we go from there. Uh, so, thank you. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments about what's going on, the discussion, everything, really.